hey guys, I learned this cool way to make a PDF editable. And um, so I wanted to show you how to do it. So first you go to your PDF and open it up. And then you need to make it small enough to see on the screen, the whole sheet. So I'm pressing Command Shift minus, I'm on a Mac. Uh, Control Shift minus works on a PC. So now I need to take a screenshot of this so that I have an image rather than a P rather than a PDF. So I'm going to press Command Shift Four. Let's Command Shift Four on my Mac. Snipping tool would work on a PC. Okay, got my screenshot. So now I'm going to go to Slides. So I go to the little waffle on the top right and open up Slides. And I'm going to open a blank presentation once I get into slides. <clears throat> OK. So once we're in the presentation, the first thing I want to do is change the actual slide size. So I'm going to go to File and Page Setup. Oops. Click too fast. OK. So I don't want it widescreen 16 by 9. I want a custom size. And I want it to be the size of my worksheet, which is 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to apply that. And now that looks like a regular sheet. So I'm going to go back to my slide on the left in the left column. And I'm going to right click, which on a trackpad is two fingers. I'm going to click Apply Layout and scroll down until I get to blank. Now I've got a blank canvas to work with. I'm also going to close out these themes because they're in my way. So now I want to set that screenshot that I just took as a background. I don't want to um, put it as an image because students can delete an image. They can move it around. They can mess it up. So I'm going to set it as a background. And that was right here in the top of the toolbar. And choose image. Um, I'm going to browse because it's on my computer. And my screenshots go to my desktop. So when you take your screenshot, just note where it is and open. You can tell I take a lot of screenshots. Okay, this uploads and then it will set it as the background. Of course, an error occurs. Let's try that again. Screenshot the last one I took, so it's at the top of my list because that's how I have it sorted. OK, great. Now I'm going to click Done. And now you can see that this is the background. It's not an image that can be moved around and dragged, um, so it can't be changed. I want to be able to see it a little better, so I'm going to go to File, I mean not File, View, and Zoom, and go to 100%. So I get a better look at it. Um, now I want to give this a meaningful name. So I'm going to call it Find the Missing Angles. And now we just have to make it so students can leave their responses. So I'm going to click right here. Um, text box is right here. Click on that. And then just draw a text box. So now students can type their, their answers right here. Um, if you want to give an example, I like to change the font color so that when so their responses are a different color. Um, and you can say 180 minus, was that 97? Or if you want to do an example, or you can just say type here. Um, and now you just have to do one of these for each one. I like to put type here because you can see when the text, when I leave that text box, the outline goes away. So I want them to know where to type. So now I want to copy this text box. So I'm going to press Command C, Control C works also, and then Command V, and then drag the new text box right over here. So just copy and paste. That's all I'm doing, copy and paste. So um, Command V, I mean Command C, Command V. Then I'm going to put it down here and do one more right here. 
And now students can enter their work, which is great. So when you're done with this, um, if you wanna add more, uh, another page to this worksheet, you just click over here, add another page, and just repeat the same process. So then when you're assigning this in Classroom, you just go to Classroom, pick your class, go to Classwork, Create, Assignment, and then um, you know type your information here, find the missing angle, worksheet and then whatever instructions you want to give and then click add and then from google drive it should be right here in recents because we just made it so now you can see this is find the missing angle the slide um you can tell by the little icon right here that this is the slide so i'm going to click on that and then click this drop down make a copy for each student. So now when I assign it, each kid will get their own worksheet, they can fill in their work and submit it back to you. So I thought this was pretty cool. So I just wanted to share it. Hopefully um, you found it helpful as well.